Impact segment tonight attacking Dr. Ben Carson. CBS News poll released yesterday has Dr. Carson at 21 percent. In second place, GOP sweepstakes behind Donald Trump, who has 27 percent. Maybe that's why the far left continues to hammer the doctor. Why would someone running for president, yes, sadly, it's Ben Carson, lay the blame on those young people out in Oregon who were just killed by a mass murder? It's pathetic. He can separate conjoined twins, but he can't separate fact from fiction. He said, I personally believe that this theory that Darwin came up with was something that was encouraged by the adversary. Right. The devil. He, the devil. Right. Yeah. Ben Carson really thinks that he could rally people against a mass shooter. <laughs> I think he's overestimating how inspiring his presence might be. And joining us now from Boynton Beach, Florida, is Dr. Carson. So uh, there's something about you. I mean, Trump, the far left feels is, you know, kind of a showman. You know, they're, they're, they're kind of supercilious about him, arrogant about him. He's just not worthy. But you, there's something about you that really annoys the secular progressives. What is that? Well, I think it's the fact that uh, I simply won't submit to their nonsense. And, uh, and do things the way that they think they should be done. And I will not talk the way that they think I should talk and embrace the ideals that they think should be embraced. How dare someone like me actually think for themselves? And, uh, you know, it was interesting. Yesterday I was at a book signing in Tennessee, and we were having a little press conference, and one of the people said, are the controversial things that you're saying hurting you? And I said, uh, well, first of all, they're only controversial to you, <laughs> left-wing media, because you take them out of context and you try to reinterpret them. I said, do you think they're, in, they're controversial to look around you? I said, there's 2,000 people here coming to have their book signed. Do you think it's controversial to them? Obviously not. People are very enthusiastic. And it's interesting that everybody comes up to me everywhere I go and they say, please don't submit to those media people. Do not do it. You'd have to stand up for us. Now, do you think there's a color thing in, in play here at all? Uh, well, I think in the sense that the, the left wing does have standard practice for black people. And you're not supposed to wander away from that, or you're an Uncle Tom, you're a traitor, you're all kinds of names that they call you. Uh, I, I find it rather amusing. And I think uh, a lot of Americans find it rather amusing, too. They know they're going to do this. People have been saying this for months. They're going to come after you with everything they can possibly can. They're going to be digging through everything. They're going to try to reinterpret everything. We know they're like a fly that's been sprayed by raid, you know, and their back spinning around. They're desperate. But it's but okay because we're just going to keep on with the truth. They don't like conservative black men and women um, because, you know, you're betraying uh, the sensitivity, I guess, of the, of the left that feels that you guys need help. Uh, we have to help you. We have a debt to African Americans and all that. And you preach self-reliance. But the other thing is your faith. Now, are you really a creationist? Do you, do you subscribe to Adam and Eve and the Garden of Eden, and that's where we came from? Well, I certainly believe that God is our creator. And interestingly enough, if you look at our founding document, uh, the Declaration of Independence, it talks about certain inalienable rights given to us by our creator. Right. Well, so but, but that can we, be intelligent design, you know, and intelligent design leads to evolution. Well, but there are some people, fundamentalist uh, religious people, who believe, look, Adam and Eve were there, and that's the way it says in Genesis, and that's, that's what happened. Where are you on that? Well, I think people are, are certainly allowed their private beliefs. I know a lot of people say that I believe that the earth is 6,000 years old, and they have no basis for saying that. I don't know how old the earth is. It says in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth, and then there's a period there. You don't know how much time elapsed. But the other thing is that people don't realize he's God. If he wanted to create an earth that was billions of years old, he could do it. They can't do it. How come they're always trying to put themselves in the same category as God? Well, they're trying to diminish to your in intellect. You know, uh, that's what they try to do. Um, final question. You have a book out, as you just mentioned. You want to mention the title of the book here? 
a, a more perfect union. Okay. Because, you know, most Americans know we have a constitution, but they don't know what's in it and what's behind it. And it's there to protect their liberties and to limit the government. All right. So your book is, is pretty much explaining some history to the USA, how you interpret the uh, founding document. Am I got it? Do I have it? I haven't read it yet. I, you know, I will get to it, but I, I got 15. Well, well, you'll love it. You'll no, love I know, it, because it's the kind I, of thing we, you write about. I just want to brief, briefly, uh, Carson and I, we think alike in, in a lot of different ways. When you mentioned that you would have rushed the gunmen, I said, yeah, didn't, didn't they do that on 9-11 in the plane that crashed in Pennsylvania? Yes, they did. Exactly. When you mentioned that the Nazis seized guns, one of their first policies were to get guns off the street. It's exactly true. The Warsaw Ghetto showed that Jews in Warsaw who were armed could hold off the Nazis. And if everybody had that, then the Nazis would have had a lot more trouble doing what they did. So there's a lot of things that you say that I understand. And then I see a guy like Chris Matthews say, oh, yeah, you're diminishing those people in Oregon. I know you would never do that. And I go, is Matthews lying? Because he must know you enough to know you would never do that. But he's really well, grand. He knows that. He, he's grandstanding to his crew. Of course he is. Right. That's and what they do. That's what they do. People know that. All right, <laughs> Don't Doc, worry about it. Good luck with the book, and you're welcome anytime. Directly they ahead. Have.